lane one, Brazil with Arojo in two, Nambala for Namibia, who was their opening leg in their relay team, finishing fourth. This is Fuad Barker from Algeria. We've got Fuad Barker and Abdallah Barker in the same race here from Algeria. This is Tyson Gunter. You can't miss Tyson with the blazing white hair. He is next door to Mohamed Hamumu from Algeria, who have a strong hand in this 400 final. World record holder, Mohamed Amgoon, third in this event in London, and is the reigning world champion. And he met Johannes Nambala in the world championship, so Nambala with a score to settle. He was the world champion in 2013, this man Nambala. Silver medalist here in the 100 is Enrique Rojo. Got a fight at a time of 50.09. Can run quicker. His personal best of 49.66 would at least see him in a mix for a bronze. And Mark Keith Price from the USA still on the improve, the 26 year old. So lining up. Goon looking focused and a shade nervous, it must be said. So the two world champions from previous editions in Doha and in Lyon. And Goon in five and Nambala three respectively. Looks as though lane four vacant, by the way. And Della Barker is a do not start. So away they go, men's 400, T13 final. Gunter away to a fair start in seven. Is already chasing Barker on the outside. Back towards the inside, coming through very quickly as Am Goon. And moving up to Hamumu, immediately there on the left of him. Also Nambala in lane number three with work to do. He can spot Am Goon as they come off the back. 200 to go. Amgoon goes to the lead from Hamumu, he's outside. Now Nambala's lifting in lane number three. So the two previous world champions come round the turn. Amgoon to the left, Nambala steaming through on the right. 70 to go, Nambala, Amgoon, the world record holders lifting. Nambala just in front, Amgoon is trying hard, he's breaching the gap, he's coming hard and won! Amgoon's won it in a world record of 47-16 and beats Nambala. Oh, what a race it was. They met in the World Championships. Nambala wanted to settle the score. Amgoon had to fight for his life. Look how much they put into it. He picks himself off the floor with a world record and a gold medal. 47-15. Mohamed Amgoon has done it again. The fastest he has ever run. And it's a race that means so much. It's the only discipline he competes in. And a bronze medalist in London four years ago. So the sweet taste of gold medal success at Paralympics. Boy, he had to fight for it, though. And look at the, <laughs> the team, the squad from Morocco. Well, that's what it's all about. A magnificent race between these two. Charging against each other over the line both inside Amgun's old world record and the Mumu in third wasn't very far off that either great respect between these two superb athletes the goal for Amgun in Morocco he had to destroy his own world record almost three quarters of a second off that in a 400 meters in order to get the gold He's so excited. He's avoiding journalists. He wants... Ah, this is what it's all about ah, as there well. there you go. The family, the entourage, they're delighted, the Moroccans, and so they should be. There's a real cluster of them just below the media tribune here. There'd be 15 or 20 of them. And you can see what it's taken out of him. But he got a, a good start. His run down the back was impressive. And I thought Nambala was battling at one point. But didn't he run a Ben Nambala? And well, he's put himself in calculations here. And in the end, it was just a final thrust of the line. 
What a blinding finish. And I just getting out in front right at the end. I'm going with Nambala leading with still 10 meters to go. But Amgun had enough of the momentum. They both charged towards the line and threw themselves over it. And Amgun flailing by this stage. What a dip by these two. But that's a proper dip from both men, you have to say. And Amgun, as you can see from the photo finish, was on his way down by that stage. It's a real tactic that's uh, emerged in the past few weeks. And it seems to be successful too. And why not if he can get you? I mean, both end up on the ground. They both broke the world record. But Amgun marginally faster. A great run between these two and magnificent respect. And full credit to the Algerian as well. Mohamed Hamoumou in third place coming in as a bit of an analyst.